Thanks, Nompumunelo. Support Public Broadcasting Coalition, SOS, says urgent financial interventions are needed to ensure that the SABC has sufficient public funding to pursue its public service mandate. Currently, 88% of the SABC's funding comes from commercial funding. There's about a 77% default in the payment of TB licenses. SOS has called for a mixed funding model for the SABC, which includes advertising, sponsorship, license and government funding. SOS is taking part in a roundtable discussion in Johannesburg on what currently needs to be done to save the public broadcaster. For more on this, we crossed our reporter, Naledi Matlapeng, in Johannesburg. Very good afternoon to Naledi. Take us through what's happened in the day. Well, good afternoon, Zinga. Yes, today SOS had a roundtable discussion to discuss issues on how to make the, the SABC sustainable and to look at a sustainable funding model for the SABC. We know that the SABC essentially asked for a bailout of 3.2, for a guarantee of 3.2 billion rent and so far this has not been forthcoming and the turnaround strategy has actually been rejected. Now SOS says that a bailout will actually be better than a guarantee because it would actually make the SABC more sustainable in the long run. Now to take this issue further, we are joined by Dudu Etzam Makuse, who is the SOS, uh, SOS coordinator. Good afternoon and thank you for joining Good us. Good afternoon, thank you for having me. So now do you think that this issue of, 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 of a government guarantee is long overdue and do you think that government is actually dragging its feet to finalize it and, and, and do you think that there's actually a total misunderstanding of how the Broadcasting Act operates? Absolutely. The Broadcasting Act is very clear on the SABC's funding model. It should be a mixed model. And by that we basically mean there should be some commercial funding, some public funding, and then the rest of it from other um, revenue sources. What we're seeing now is governments deliberately not coming to the party in terms of how it can support the SABC, not coming to the party when a government guarantee was being sought out, as well as not coming to the party on a bailout. So essentially they're leaving the public broadcasters with no options whatsoever on how to uh, get out of this financial crisis. Now the fact that about 88% of, of SABC's funding comes from commercial funding, is this a problem for a bro public broadcaster? It's a big problem that the, the SABC relies so much on advertising content, um, advertising revenue, sorry, um, particularly because it has a public mandate that should be uh, funded by the public purse or at least by the public good um, through licenses and other types of, of uh, contributions that are made by members of the public. But um, now we're seeing that there's an over-reliance on commercial types of funding and that puts it in a place where it has to compete with commercial players, which oftentimes have more lucrative content and offerings than the SABC and a smaller mandate which oftentimes doesn't make as much money so over reliance on advertising while in this also in this global economic uh, climate is a big problem because the model itself is broken so even the commercial guys that are well versed on how to run advertising based models are struggling to make money so a public broadcaster that has the additional onus of a public mandate is going to struggle even more than the rest of those other public broadcasters now do you think that um, the SABC is actually not being treated fairly I mean, considering the fact that SAA, for instance, has over the years received bailouts from the government. I think at this stage it wouldn't even be a matter of fairness more than it would be a matter of uh, democratic role and real democratic importance. Um, I think we have so many SOEs in the country and there are some that are critical to the economy, they are interwoven, they're critical to where it is that we want to be as a country and the SABC is one of those and it should be prioritized because without it unfortunately you're looking at three-thirds of the population having to suddenly pay for information and communication and our constitution says people have the right to know and they have, an access, they have the right to access of information. So if government cannot support any institution that is trying to make that available, then we're going to have a big problem. So just how much funding do you want from the government and are you not concerned that it will actually to some extent you know, affect the independence of the public broadcaster? And this is part of the complexity. Asking for money from government means that you also have to be aware of the potential pitfalls of opening up uh, for political interference. 
However, at the same time, there is a role for the state to play in terms of public funding. We're sitting at 3% public funding. That's not sustainable at all because it basically means that even after the bailout has come into place or a government guarantee has come into place, you're still going to have a model that is broken. What you need is to see an increase in public uh, funding as well as an increase in the public taking responsibility. But at the same time, you also need to see a diversification of you know, business uh, models so that the SABC can come up with other revenue sources to get out of the cycle of getting to bailouts and asking the state for money and so on and so forth. Now, the fact that SABC is actually tr struggling to collect TV license and about, there's about 77% default in, the, in that matter, how do you think this is affecting the SABC? The impact of, of television licenses not being paid is really huge. I mean, the last time we checked on the figures, it was around 900 million rand that could have been coming to the public broadcaster, but is not making its way here. Um, and essentially, we're spending more money trying to collect uh, the license fees than we are getting from the license fees. And this is why so many people are calling for the license fee to be scrapped altogether. At the same time, we can't because the license fee figure is 18%, which is still far less than what government is putting on the table at 3%. And then you're still sitting with the, the bigger 87 to 88% advertising. So the entire model has to be rejigged so that all those revenue sources um, are not as extreme as they are, not as minuscule and not as, as, as over-reliant on, on one or the other. There has to be a, a more balanced approach to how we make money there. There was Dudu Etzang Mankuse, who's the coordinator of, of SOS, talking about how important is it for the public broadcaster to actually receive a, a, a government guarantee and, and then that this is a very you know, important broadcaster for the public. Back to you in studio. Thanks, Naledi Matlapen, giving us an update from that SOS event there.